Hey guys, MTASH here, and I wanted to do something a little bit different today, and I wanted to break down an extremely, extremely sweaty game. This is essentially me with no music on, no camera on, focusing as much as I can, and playing a solo game. Now I'm using the greasiest loadout I can possibly use. I'm playing extremely safe, and I'm trying to rack up as many kills as I can. Now this game is, in my opinion, a pretty good one. I think it's a pretty good showcase of my skill. And, uh, you know, right off the start here, we're, we're starting to slay, right? I have a lot of people that are like, What happened to Mtash? He sucks at the game now. Why is he so bad? And part of that is because I do live commentary videos with music on in the background, and I'm not super focused. But the other thing is, I was using V-Sync for the last month on accident, and it completely ruined my aim. So you're going to see gameplays like this far more frequently, because this is what I'm capable of. And, you know, I, I don't want to make excuses, but literally the second I turned it off, my gameplay drastically improved. My accuracy was drastically better. My ability to react and land my shots was tenfold. Because I don't know exactly what VSIC does, but I was missing so many shots, and, and it felt like things weren't registering, and there was like a delay to my movements and my decisions, and it was just a nightmare. So... Let's get into this. Let's talk about it. We're going to break down the good things I do as well as the bad things. Let's get started. So, after booping that player away, I decide to back off and get my health back. There are a lot of people spawning to my left, and I'm trying to just poke them down and do as much damage as possible without dying. I was by myself for the most part, but now that my team is pushing up, I'm going to help support them and team shot a little bit. Deciding to change up my angle, I go up top, and I decide to try to watch this uh, this top mid angle here, okay? There's a lot of people here, so I gotta be a little bit careful. I land some first shots, commit to one guy, and then I realize there's way too many. I had to back out there, or I was dead. Regrouping now, back to top mid. Everyone is rotating to this platform on my left, and I'm trying to just look for targets and do as much damage as possible without overexposing myself over the ledge. I decide now is a good time to pop the super, and I start flying around with my Dawnblade trying to get as many kills as possible. A little bit of suspect movement, I decide to go back to the other side in case I can catch their spawn, and I miss two Dawnblades on this guy. End up landing the grenade, but get shot with a bow by another player. So that death uh, was partially because it took way too long to kill those two guys that were spawning. Uh, if I would have landed my Dawn Blade there, I think I would have been in a much better position, but I took a lot of damage due to my misses. That's okay. That is, uh, is kind of like the first, uh, stupid death of mine. There's more to come, but there's also some great plays. Pushing in with my team now, I see another target, and I decide to lay into him with my Not Forgotten. I'm starting to really like this gun. It's, it's really sexy now that I've gotten used to it. Uh, I still gotta perfect it, but it's, it's badass. Super badass. Now, I'm pushing the, uh, again towards their spawn and, uh, catch one off guard, okay? I land some shots, and I notice that there's some guys really far down here, not even focused on me, so... In my opinion, it's a smart time to push in with the shotgun and see what I can do. Terrible melee, I commit to the shotgun kill, and another melee, and another shotgun kill. Okay, guys, that was really, really sloppy. That was probably one of my sloppiest uh, uh, gun engagements, but I came out on top. Luckily, they missed me. And uh, now we're going to rotate back towards heavy. No one's grabbing it, and I want to make sure that I secure this because my Graviton Lance is extremely... Or, or, graviton Lance! Did I just say Graviton Lance? Tractor Cannon! They're both void weapons. I almost had it right. My Tractor Cannon is extremely strong, and uh, is going to allow me to rack up some kills if I can close the gap. Now, I think this part of the video is a good example of me isolating targets and committing to one or two of them instead of four at a time. Okay, there's tons of people on my radar, some to the right, some to the left. I commit to the guy to my left, trying to keep, uh, you know, that wall in between us. Now there's some people isolated to the right here, there's other people to the left, and I'm kind of just picking engagements where I can fight one or two and not the whole lot of them. I don't want to get myself caught. This play right here is a perfect example. I know there's two people in front of me, but there's also people to my left. I decide to put this wall in between us, commit to the left, and I grab a couple kills. If I would've went to the right, I think I was pinched there between four players, and I probably would've died. You know, five players, really. Couple terrible shotgun shots there, we're not gonna, ta we're not gonna talk about those. It is now time to secure the heavy. 
Now, with this heavy play, uh, I heard the Sentinel Titan pop here. And instead of engaging on him and just booping him out of his super, I went the other way. I got a little bit caught off guard and I ended up dying. I think the play for our team, the value play, was actually going towards the Sentinel and getting him out of his super. But that's hindsight. There's nothing you can do about it. I reacted. Um, I reacted to the super popping and I said, eh, I'll go a safer route and uh, ended up running into some issues. Now this super, um, I used it in some pretty tight hallways and my movement was really suspect. Um, I boosted in the walls a couple times. I heard the, uh, sorry, the hammer titan there. And I could have just kind of launched swords down the hallway and I think I would have been able to deal with him, but I dove right on top of him. You're never gonna win that fight. Hammer titan, um, the damage it inflicts on other supers is really, really high. And most likely you're gonna lose that engagement. So on this next play, because my teammates are pushed up, I decide I'm going to go in their ham as well and support them, do some team shots. Uh, I end up getting a little bit of damage to my grenade. I go to slide in here and try to take out the golden gun with a quick shot. I actually missed him, unfortunately. Um, he died anyways. Then I get taken out with a pulse. You know, I guess if I would have landed my shots there, I could have dueled that guy, but I was all over the place there. I was so aggressive. I was in the middle of, like, three people. That was a stupid play on my part. I should have backed off a little bit, especially when I noticed my teammates dying to the golden gun, but it is what it is. This is a quick little slide shotgun. As soon as you damage someone with your hand cannon, you're pretty safe to slide in and shotgun them because you can kill them from a further distance they can kill you. You just gotta play smart with it. After landing some decent hand cannon shots, I realized that heavy isn't up for some time, and so I decide to push towards the enemy spawn because I have some teammates. I leave this guy alive a little bit too long. I should have got that melee off sooner or shot again or something, uh, but I recognize that there's heavy up, and there are a bunch of players here laning. I've got some guys behind me helping to shoot, and I decide now would be a good time to try and flank. I reload my weapon with my transverse of steps, and I'm switching targets to the people that might be the biggest threat. Now, I think that that was a good flank. If that guy didn't have his super, he was dead, and most likely the people behind him. But I get blade, uh, blade barraged and end up dying. There's not too much you can do about it. You're not going to be able to anticipate that uh, in a lot of situations. I think that flank was still the right play. Now, I'm going to go on a bit of a spree with this tractor cannon flanking around these players. Um, uh, I push very aggressively here. I actually almost die. Luckily, I get the one, uh, the one hit kill on both of those guys. Land a quick headshot on that guy, and now I'm just trying to nade and push up aggressively. Hugging this wall, I take away one of the angles so they can't see me, and I get some triple boobage off and take out those players. Now this was my lights out if I would have been able to kill this guy, but he ends up running away. Uh, I couldn't get the angle with my hand cannon, and the multi-kill is ruined. I've got the dawn blade, I see some players spawning out this way, and I start launching flaming swords towards them. Um, there are some more people spawning, but unfortunately the way they line up, I, I, I can't really get a huge multi-kill here, unfortunately. I start chasing, I see, see what I can do, you know, I'm going for them, but it just doesn't really work out. And now there are a ton of people in this area. I recognize that there's three of them and I try to escape. Luckily, luckily I got away and I'm just looking to clean up the stragglers here. Um, I could have been a little bit more aggressive there. Uh, they weren't focused on me and I probably could have got one or two more kills or assists, but you know, it, it, who cares? The game's pretty much over. It's 99 to 40. We just need one more kill and we end up getting it. I slide in, I go for the boop, uh, end up getting the one guy and that guy was probably dead too because he had his hand cannon out, but that's pretty much it guys. That is me focusing as hard as I can. Um, you know, was it perfect? No. Did I make mistakes? Yes, but it's still a 51 elimination, 10 efficiency game, 10k damage. Um, you know, I'm capable of doing these things. I just don't always perform when I'm making videos. Anyways, that's it for me. Hopefully you enjoy, and I will see you soon, my friends. Bye-bye.